Japanese Ambassador Koji Haneda hosted the reception last October 1 at his residence to celebrate the awarding of the Foreign Minister's Commendation to the Associated Marine Officers and Seamen's Union of the Philippines and the Philippine-Japan Manning Consultative Council. AMUSOP President Dr. Conrado F. Oka and PJMCC President Mr. Eduardo U. Manese received the award from Ambassador Haneda with his appreciation for their promotion of Japan-Philippines economic relations on behalf of the respective organizations. Tonight's award is a further expression of the Japanese government's appreciation to their persistent efforts following the ambassador's commendation to the two organizations back in 2014. Their legacy is one of the stellar examples of successful collaboration between Japan and the Philippines, one that complements each other by leveraging on respective strengths such as abundant young and competent human resources, extensive knowledge, and state-of-the-art technologies. One-third of uh, the world's seafarers are Filipinos, and one-third of that are our members, are employed by uh, Japanese ship owners, and uh, to date there are like how many, 35,000? So we're, I think we're, right now we're number one. We were given a commendation by the ambassador five years ago, so I believe that this is a higher commendation by the ministry. So uh, this is a ministerial level. So this is a higher commendation. It's a big tribute to all of us, and not only us, but also all of the Philippine seafaring industry. In a press statement, the Japanese embassy said that around 34,000 Filipino seafarers are on board Japanese merchant ships, comprising about 75% of its total personnel. Filipino seafarers play a constructive and essential role in global trade and contribute immensely to the country's economic growth, the embassy said. As the local labor union and mining agents association, the embassy said, these organizations, in close cooperation with relevant agencies, are responsible for the stable employment of quality Filipino seafarers in the past years.